good morning. Is it still morning? Yes, it's 11.30. <laughs> Just made it. Uh, good morning, everyone. Wow, I haven't vlogged since we were in Cabo, so I feel, I feel a little rusty. Uh, I don't know what I'm vlogging about. <laughs> Not much is going on, but I felt like I needed to catch up with you guys, you know, on a more personal level. Um, what is happening? Not much, not much, honestly, not much is happening. I am just sort of getting back into the groove of things. Uh, this past weekend, uh, my husband and I went back to New York for a wedding. So we flew in Friday night, the wedding was Saturday night, um, and then we came back on Sunday. So it was a super quick trip. I was thinking about vlogging it, but I was like, you know what? It was just, it was so fast. And you know, that trip wiped me out. Um, our return flight was, you know, delayed. We were kind of sitting on the tarmac for a while. Uh, the time between us checking out from the hotel and us, you know, having to board our plane was a really long time. So we were at the airport for a long time. So the day just, I mean, we just felt like we were traveling all day. And it's a pretty long flight uh, from New York to Vegas, especially going to the West um, because you're going against that jet stream or whatever it is, um, you're going against the wind. Um, so it just, yeah, it just took a long time to get home. Uh, so I was just really wiped out and I just, I, I couldn't bring myself to do anything yesterday. So today's Tuesday, yesterday, I just, I was like, I'm exhausted. I was just spent, you know, like mentally and physically and, um, you know, and because I've been traveling a lot uh, between Cabo and New York, I haven't been eating well or what I consider to be well which is you know my carnivore diet so I've just totally <laughs> cut off the rails like really just been eating whatever I want um, so I'm trying to get back into it which is tough you know when you kind of fall out of habit um, it's hard to get back on track but I'm trying to um, I had my two eggs for breakfast I'm gonna have some grass-fed beef <laughs> for lunch and probably some more grass-fed beef for dinner and try and get back on track I don't have any immediate plans for traveling. I have something tentative, which I won't even bore you with until it becomes uh, a positive or a definite, I should say, instead of a tentative. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. I think what I, what I need to do, I've really been in denial. I've really been ignoring the, the problem, but I think I need to declutter my makeup. I think it's time. The last time I did it was during Mishmas. That was about five months ago. Um, and it's time, you know, there was a point where I was doing it probably every six months, you know, twice a year, and that was a good pace. I feel like I need to do it more often. And this is absolutely a problem that I have dreamt of, you know, that I just, I'm getting sent a lot of things in PR, um, so many things I love, I hold on to them, um, but I really, it's just not, it doesn't make any sense. I can't use it all. I always testing out some new stuff, trying out new stuff, uh, falling in love with another thing. So I just, yeah, I just need to kind of go through that. So I think we'll be doing that in this vlog. Um, oh, you know what I have to show you guys? <laughs> this thing, my husband, when he saw it, when I unpacked, it was it came in a huge box. When I unpacked it, he was like, what is that? Let me show you. So I got this box from um, Current Body, and you guys know how much I love my Current Body LED mask, my neck and deck, um, I don't wanna say mask, my neck and deck tool, my LED tool. So they sent me, I'm in my home gym right now um, because I have set this up in front of my yoga mat so I can lay down on my yoga mat and then uh, just kind of relax underneath this. So this whole thing, <laughs> has LED lights on the inside. So you basically just stick your head in there and what I do is I, you know, I basically get comfortable and then I'll just pull this over my head in a way. Um, and oh, here it has like this remote control that you can use. So you can use red light, blue light, yellow light, which I had never heard of before, but yellow light apparently is really good for like aches and pains. Um, but I just use the red light, which is good for wrinkles and like anti-aging. The blue light is more for like acne. Um, I think that's like antibacterial. Um, yeah, it's just, it's very simple. You turn it on, you hit basically which light you want. So that goes on. It's going to go on for 30 minutes. That's how long the treatment is. And then you just hit the play and then this goes on. So let me turn this off. 
Ooh. I don't always use the full 30 minutes, but as you guys know, you may or may not know actually, but I like to meditate in the mornings. So what I've started to do is um, instead of like just waking up, baking myself some coffee and then like journaling and meditating, what I'll do is I'll leave meditating for when I use this device. And a lot of my meditations are about 30 minutes, so it's, it's really perfect. But I like to use this device after I shower. So I'm in my robe, you know, my hair is back in a hair towel. I lay down on that, I get comfortable, and I just lay there for like 30 minutes. And it's great. And like I said, I don't always do the 30 minutes because it's that's a commitment. It's, it's a long time. Um, but I want to say twice a week to, well, maybe more like three times a week, I will do the full 30 minutes. But I love it because it kind of forces me to just relax and it forces me to meditate. Um, and, you know, I always have the mask and the neck and deck um, tool for if I want to be doing something else. Like, I really like folding laundry while I have the neck and deck on or the face mask on. Um, if I need to do other things, those are always a great option and those go on for 10 minutes. That's how long the cycle's for. Um, but yeah, if I have the time and, you know, I'm going to be sitting still for 30 minutes or whatever it is, um, yeah, I just lay down and do it. And I've gotten into the habit now, so it's really, yeah, it's really, really nice. But yeah, when I first got it, I was like, wow, it's huge. So that whole thing that is like bent over, it's actually very flexible and it's just sort of uh, like inserted into that stand. So you can take it out and then it's just flat. And so when it's flat, it looks a lot larger. Um, than when it's like rounded like that. Um, and so when it's flat, like if you have aches and pains and you wanna use that yellow light, you can kind of like put it on your arm or put it on like over your chest or whatever. Like if you've worked out and your like pecs are really sore or something, you can use that or like lay it over your back. Um, I think that's probably a very common use. So anyway, I've just been playing around with that and I really, I really like it. You guys know I'm a big fan of the whole LED light thing, so. Um, I want to show you guys that because it's such a, it's such a major tool, but it's so great. So, so great. And I like that it's large enough that when I really stick my head in there and I've got my, you know, bathrobe on and I just kind of, you know, open up my bathrobe a bit, it just gets this whole area. So that's good too. But anyway, I do want to put on some makeup today. I, um, had a really slow start. Like I said, it's about 1130. Well, now it's 1140. Um, but I had Pilates this morning and then I just had to like do all these things I've been putting off, like <laughs> call the dentist and actually make an appointment. I have a very, I have a confession. Are you ready? You probably know what I'm about to say. I have not been to the dentist since before the pandemic. So it's been more than two years. I just, I just felt like during the pandemic, you know, it was like something I just put off. It was like, oh, you know, we're just gonna lock down for a month. We're just gonna lock down for six weeks or whatever it was. So I just kept putting it off. And then it j time just kind of flew. And anyway, I, I needed, I need to go get my teeth cleaned. And I um, <laughs> actually, during the pandemic, the dentist that I was seeing here in Vegas retired. Um, so I needed to find a new one. Anyway, I called today, Tuesday, to, for an appointment and the first one they could give me was September 1st. I was like, oh man, my teeth are not gonna make it. But um, I was like, I'll take it. I don't think it's much better at any other dentist office, so. Um, anyway, so that's been my morning. I just, you know, I went to Pilates, I made some phone calls, answered some emails, blah, blah, blah. So I'm definitely getting a really late start to this day. But yeah, let's, um, let's go put on some makeup. All right, so I'm gonna start with my Derm Institute Daily Defense Protection, this has the SPF 50 in there, and this is that product that I used in Cabo, and I really liked it. You know, it took a little while for me to get used to it because it's um, a little bit on the thicker side, but it's only thick when you pump it out. It really kind of becomes very um, creamy and silky when you like work it into your skin. So yeah, it's really grown on me. And I try and use three pumps. So I'll use like one pump on the bottom half of my face and then one pump around my forehead, <laughs> which looks a little scary, but like once you work it in, it's great. It looks great. Get it into my hairline there. And then one last pump 
all over. I feel like I, I reached that quarter teaspoon magical amount <laughs> that you need for SPF. Of course, get some on my neck there. Yeah, and the other thing, I don't know if I mentioned this. I think I talked about this in my like seasonal beauty switch up video. Yeah, I think this was the product I used. Um, yeah, I was talking about how I like, um, you know, SPFs and tinted SPFs for my base in the summertime for obvious reasons. But I don't think I mentioned that, you know, a lot of times SPF has like an intense glow, like it just, it makes your skin look very, very oily. This just has a really nice, like kind of subtle glow. I'm just, um, yeah, I'm just really loving this product more and more the more I use it. So anyway, that is my base for today. And then how am I feeling in terms of powder? I don't feel especially oily today. When I came back from New York, my skin was feeling um, really funky because it was so humid. So like my the moisture balance in my skin was really knocked off, but I feel like it's found its equilibrium again. So I don't feel especially dry. I don't feel especially oily. I think what I will do, I've been using the Danessa Myricks, this powder balm, what is this called? I forget. Blurring balm powder. Um, I've been using this like just on the tip of my nose. That's just basically where I get oily, if anywhere, and it's really been helping. It's been helping a lot. And I tend to get clogged pores around my nose. And this product I haven't noticed has like clogged any of my pores around my nose. So that's been great too. So yeah, I think it does a good job mattifying without it looking um, too powdery, too drying or dry or anything like that. This is like such an interesting product. I'm gonna use my by Terry this um, Brightening CC liquid blush in Sunny Glow. And I like getting the product out of here. I'm just putting it on the back of my hand. I don't really use the, the brush. And when I use this product as a blush, I find it's like good enough. Like I don't need to add bronzer to, but I'll kind of use it as a bronzer. Is that what we're calling it? Like a blush slash bronzer. So I am using it kind of to give me a little bit of dimension there. Like not just add health to my complexion, but like I bring it up so that I'm contouring a little bit. Just love, love, love this liquid blush. It's so good. The sheen it gives my skin is incredible. And I'll take whatever's left on my hand, which is not much at all, really work it into the brush, and then just kind of lightly add it to my forehead and like down my nose. I almost feel like I don't need highlight either because this is such a glowy product too. I love it so much. Okay, um, let's do eyebrows. Okay, I can't find my Dior Onset Brow Gel, which you guys know I have been loving. I cannot find it in this mess of a vanity right now. I wonder if I brought it upstairs. It's possible, it's possible I brought it up to my bathroom. So I'm just gonna use what I have down here. I'm just gonna use the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. And someone was telling me that this has been reformulated with those microfibers versus the fibers that you could see in the previous version. Like you literally could see the fibers in here because I was like, I don't think there are any fibers in here. Um, apparently there are microfibers in here. Yeah, I still feel like the Dior Onset Brow Gel is just a little bit better. I'm not that jazzed with the reformulation of this Tom Ford. I feel like it's a little bit wetter also. Like it gets, just a little bit messier. Like the Dior Onset, I feel like I can be pretty lackadaisical with its application and it's fine. Like I don't feel like, oops, like I just put shoe polish in my brows, but I'm getting that with this one. So weird, so weird. maybe my tastes have changed. All right, eyeshadow. I've been going really, really hard with these um, Sisley liquid shadows. They're just so, so easy to use. Um, what should we go with today? I'm thinking maybe number three, or what am I wearing? I'm wearing a gold dress. There is also number one, which is a little bit more gold. Or number five, which I think I've actually been using the most. This is uh, like a brownish gold. You know what? I'm gonna mix 
I'm gonna mix these two together. I feel like this one's a little bit uh, smoky for today and this one's a little bit light. So I'm gonna mix the two on the back of my hand and apply it that way. But I do have to work quickly. Actually, these set down. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is apply like one strip of the light color, one strip of the dark color and just kind of mix them together on my lid. Otherwise I feel like it may take too long, you know, to like mix on the back of my hand and then get onto my eyelid. <laughs> So I am going to use my uh, Worker 2 brush from Sonya G. Yeah, I'm gonna do lighter. And then, and then darker right above. And let's mix those together and see what happens. Let's see if I keep working it in, because right now it looks a little streaky. <laughs> But I think if I keep working it, oh yeah. I love these liquid shadows. They're just cooperative, beautiful colors, but they just work really, really easily. No fuss. They eventually set down, but they don't set down like too quickly. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And I work these shadows with the brush, with my finger. Works beautifully with, with both tools. All right, okay. So, oh my gosh, I've been loving these Hourglass Voyeur, Voyeur? Yeah, Voyeur um, waterproof gel eyeliners. They go on like a dream and they do not smudge at all. And I've been loving this shade solstice so this is like the bronzy kind of like metallic brown shade oh my god i've been loving it so much so i'm just gonna tight line with it and then add some to my lower lash line and then i'm just gonna curl my lashes and i have a newish mascara that I have been playing around with and I really like it. It's from Lancome and their mascaras are so good. It is this one, the Hypnos Mascara. And it's got this really like massive glass <laughs> uh, like tube here and it's not really travel friendly, but it's really like, it's, it's just nice in the hand. It feels really, really nice. And it makes my lashes really like fluttery. All right, eyes are done. God, I'm sweating. It's been so hot in Vegas. When we got back from New York, we walked out of the airport. It was probably 9.30 at night. So no sun, nothing in the sky. And it was 95 degrees out. I was like, wow. We're here, summer is here. And the week before, it was like high in the 70s and I was loving it. So it's been this really, really stark, fast change into summer this past week. So I think I wanna do a bright lip. All right, I've got my Armani Lip Power in 301. Can't remember the name. I think this is like, it's either flirt or flirty or flirtatious. One of those, So a play on flirt. All right, there is 301 from Armani. Love that, love it so much. All right, well, done with my makeup for today. That was pretty fast. So, like I said, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna declutter. I really need to do that. I um, am actually gonna grab, <laughs> grab some lunch. I'm gonna need some energy for this. So I'm gonna grab some lunch first and then I will bring you back and show you what a mess my vanity is and my makeup area and yeah, we just need to get this, we need to get this cleaned out. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I just finished lunch. Do I have stuff in my teeth? <laughs> I think I'm good. Um, but look at this Armani Lip Power lipstick. I didn't touch up or anything. Oh my God, the best. Okay, I'm back in my filming room, which is where I also keep my makeup. And 
my God, let me just show you what I'm dealing with. So here is my vanity. It just, it just will always look this way. I, I, it's like impossible to keep up. After I film, I just end up with all of this stuff all over. I've got makeup in some of those drawers there, um, but I keep most of my makeup here. So on top of the drawers, in the drawers, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Here, I took out a whole bunch of blushes when I was doing the uh, makeup so good I needed them all video. So I need to replace those. So I think I'm gonna start here with these blushes because these are the old Tom Ford blushes that I've had a hard time getting rid of because I love them so much. However, I don't really use them because I can't really use them on camera with you guys um, because you can't get them anymore. And so when that happens, I, you know, I just don't use the makeup that much. So yeah, I think I'm going to start over here because I see some things that I can get rid of already. Okay. So like I said, these are all of those older Tom Ford blushes that are, oh, they're just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? It's just, it's a shame. I don't know why they discontinued these. I do love the, the blush duos, but they could have kept these too. Anyway, I'm gonna pass these along. Um, and anything that I can, you know, donate, I will. Anything I can pass along to friends and family, I will. Um, anything I need to throw out, like if it's expired or whatever. So I'm probably just gonna be saying I'm getting rid of something, but I will try and find, like, absolutely, I will try and find a better home for these products. But anyway, gonna move on from these. Okay, I have a bunch of NARS blushes here that I really love. So this one is Tempted, which I'm sure I'll keep. This one, I don't think I've even used yet. This one is Taj Mahal, which I would like to keep as well. Uh, this is Exhibit A, which I would like to keep. Um, this blush is so good too. <laughs> this isn't going that well. And this blush is really good too. Okay, I guess I'm keeping these. What's this? This is, oh, this is hot sand. This is such a good highlighter, but I never use it. So I'm gonna just declutter that. But these blushes I'm gonna keep because they're all really unique. And I haven't gotten a chance to use some of them that I would like to like this one. And I believe they're all still around, so. Gonna hold on to that. Um, this Givenchy blush, I really, really enjoy. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Chantecai, Chantecai, Alima Pure. Oh, I kept this because I wanted to use it. Yeah, let me, oh, let me hold on to that. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to it at some point. Um, Natasha Denona, let's see, we've got the mini rose, what is this, rose cheek duo. We have these duo glows. I think, is that all my Natasha Denona blushes? Yes, these are highlights, right? Yeah, this is a highlight. And this is a highlight, okay. So I think I can get rid of this. I got this to um, use to travel, but I think I have other ones that I like more. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna declutter that. I'm not never gonna use that. And then these, I really really enjoy. Are these still around? Are these still available? Let's let's look. Well, these are available at Beautylish, but I don't think these are available at Sephora. That's interesting and still available on the Natasha Denona site. So I'm gonna hold on to these because they're really beautiful and I just love a glowy blush. And even though I have not used these in a while, I mean, they're really, they're just gorgeous. So I'm gonna hold on to those. And this Melt blush is really gorgeous, Nevermore. I never use it. I'm just gonna declutter that. Um, Bobbi Brown, this is such a good, like basic, matte blush. If I'm just looking for a basic matte blush that isn't too dry looking, this is perfect. This I love, this Dior blush is really pretty. This Persona blush in Bubble is so good. Look how pretty that color is. Um, what are these? 
Oh, I have Cantaloupe and Classic from Sirach. So I actually need to put this in my uh, like magnetic palette with the rest of my Surat blushes, but we'll leave this here for now. And then we do have some highlights over here. So this is the Givenchy highlight, which I really love. We have some like limited edition highlights from Chantecai that I don't really want to get rid of just yet. This by Terry is pretty, but I'm going to get rid of this. I think they've come out with like singles of those colors. They don't have this anymore. This was limited edition, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. My Clinique Year of the Ox highlight I'm going to keep. I was born in Year of the Ox, so I feel very attached to that. Uh, this is Fort de France that I'm going to keep. My La Bouche Rouge I'm going to keep. Cure Weiss. I do like that one. I'll keep that. And this Laura Mercier. This one's really pretty too. Rose Glow. Oh, I forgot I had this. Okay, I'm going to pass that along. I think this one may have been limited edition anyway. This Bobbi Brown Ula Johnson Pink Glow was limited edition. And I have somewhere, I think the regular Bobbi Brown. Okay, if we come across the regular one, I'm gonna declutter this, even though this is so gorgeous. I'm gonna use the regular one, I think, if this is unavailable to you guys, so. Anyway, okay, so these are ones I'm passing along. Okay, now for this uh, little section. I don't know why this is up here, but <laughs> that's my Chantecaille quad that I'm keeping for sure. I have all of these Dior highlights that they sent me. I love that one. That one was surprising. Um, this one I think I may get rid of because it's it's just, it's too stark. It's just like like this white powdery highlight. So I think I'll pass that along. Um, this one kind of is like, works more like a blush. And then this one too works more like a blush. And this one is a pretty highlight. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, this white one, and hold on to the rest of these. But I'm gonna move these over to the blush. Oh, they don't fit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep these over here. And keep this. I've got my Clay de Poe highlights. These are not going anywhere, I love these. Very subtle, beautiful highlights. Um, my Burberry highlights, these are like my all-time favorite highlights, so these are not going anywhere. Um, my Hermes highlights, so I have that one, which is the baked one and the pressed one. Well, I like the formula of this one, but it's very yellow, and I actually like the tone of this one more. Okay, I'll hold on to both of these for now. Um, this Pat McGrath, is this the one? I'm going to pass this one along because, do you see how dark that is? It's not a good blush and it's not a good highlight. It's just kind of a strange color for my skin tone, so I'm going to pass that along. This one I actually really enjoy. This is very pretty. It has like a peachy tinge to it. So hold on to this. And then I've got, what are these? The Sublime Skin Highlighter. Oh, I think one of these is really yellow. Really, really yellow. That one is lighter. Is it this one? Did I not get that one? Oh no, both of these are light. Maybe there was a really deeper, like yellow gold one that I just didn't even bother getting. So anyway, both of these are great. So I'm going to hold on to these. Okay, lip products up here. I don't think I want to get rid of any of these. I feel like I just went through this. Yeah, I feel like I just went through this. Um, so I'm just going to leave all of these lip products as is. We're going to move over here to this um, little tray here where I have more. I think these are all just highlights. So I've got the Chanel, this like illusion star blush comet in Pesh that I really love. This I really, really love, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Here's another Clinique highlighter. This is Year of the Tiger, 2022. So I'm gonna actually put it with my other one. 
Here is the fluorescence. I like this one is really beautiful, very intense, like very intense peachy pink. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. Let's see, we've got Bobbi Brown. Oh, here's that pink glow. So what I'm gonna do is declutter this Ula Johnson pink glow and hold on to this one. This one is Moon Glow. This one's really pretty too. It's like a light champagne -y color. Then we have, what is this? Is this that, oh, this is that highlighter I can't stand. So I already talked about this in a fail, so I'm gonna declutter this. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, I really enjoy these Pillow Talk highlighters, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And let's see, we've got this Charlotte Tilbury one, which kind of borderlines on being too deep for my skin tone, but I really, I really like it. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, I'll hold on to that for a little while longer. And then we've got the Clinique um, Lunar Pop, which I really love. It's such a creamy highlight. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna hold on to that. And then I've got a couple M Cosmetics highlights. And, you know, these are all kind of deep. Let me just swatch it. They were kind of um, like obvious on my skin which is so strange. I feel like this tone should work, but maybe it's just that they're kind of powdery. So I'm gonna declutter these. This one was deeper too. So I'm gonna declutter these. And that is it. Oh, what do I have here? I've got this loose Givenchy Prism Libre um, highlighter that I'm gonna hold on to. This is really pretty. Um, but yeah, let me put the rest of these back in here. All right, I feel like we're off to a decent start here. Let's go over to the other side where I have even more stuff just sitting on top here. Okay, I feel like I ha really have to deal with this whole Chanel blush thing. So they reformulated their blush like last year. I don't like the new formulation, so I kept all of the new ones that I purchased and all the old ones. But the old ones are discontinued and you know again if I can't use it on camera it just ends up being something I, I don't use very often um, so I just have to get real with myself so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to the new ones even though I don't like them that much but it's you know it's what I have from Chanel so let me kind of suss out which ones are the new ones and which ones are the older ones. Oh, this is like limited edition. I'll hold on to that. I'll hold on to that. I'll hold on to that. This is one of the new ones. This is one of the older ones. This is Golden Sun, which I will never part with, even though it's actually been long discontinued. Okay, this has gotten out of control, so I'm actually gonna bring this all over to the floor and lay them all out. These are all of the regular straight up blushes that I have. I have a lot of limited edition blushes. I'm gonna be keeping all of those because I just love them so much. But these I need to go through because um, the ones where I have in the batch number like a six, those are the newer ones. So I'm gonna keep all of those. So that is one, I think this is one, yeah. I think this is one. And then, I'm not sure about this one because, and then this is, yeah, this is the newer jersey. So I'll hold on to that. And then I think most of these are older or discontinued. Um, Golden Sun discontinued, but I am holding on to that because I just love it. Um, this is, the old jersey. Oh, so sad. Look how much prettier that one is than. Where's. Yeah, this is the new jersey. It's just, it's darker and there's less of a sheen. It's like flatter. It's 
just not as nice. But anyway, that's what they have now. So I'm going to hold on to that one. And I'm going to get rid of this old jersey. And then, yeah, this is an old one. So this is Rose Initial. I'm going to declutter that. This one is Rose Petalant. This is an old one too. I may keep it though just because I love that so much. Um, what are these? Six. Oh, this is a new one. This is Malice. A new one. So hold on to that one. This is Rose Bronze, an old one. This is Rose Ekren, right? Yeah, an old one. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is Pink Explosion. I remember I got this because Lisa Eldridge used this in a video and it looks so beautiful. Um, we have Fleur de Lotus. So this was, I think, a limited edition one. This one is Alizane. I love that one. This one is In Love. So beautiful. Look how beautiful. But like the old ones are so much more beautiful. And then Rouge Profond. Uh, this one is old. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of, what is this? Rose Bronze. I'm going to declutter Rose Bronze. I think I'm going to keep Alizane. It's just really beautiful. And. I'm gonna keep Reflex. This was the second time they came out with Reflex, and it's quite different, I think, from the first one that they came out with, but anyway, I'm gonna keep that, because that one's just iconic. And then I think out of these, I'm just gonna keep this one too, this one, this Rose Petalant, just because it's so pretty. It's bright, it's kind of like satiny, it's, yeah. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to hold on to that one. And then I'm just going to get rid of these. Yeah, Burnt Coral. I think that was limited edition. Little Lotus. Pink Explosion. And In Love. Now, they do have these shades. But they are different. So Alizane that I kept. Yeah, it's quite different. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how close this picture is, but I wonder if I should hold on to In Love, which they have. I do have the older one, but maybe it's close enough. Um, pink Explosion. Yeah, do you see, they're just like, they're just like flatter and ugh, like this is pink explosion. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of mine. It's just not even close enough. And then burnt coral. They don't have. Yeah, that was an addition. I'll get rid of that. And then the Fleur de Lotus. This was definitely limited edition. That's so pretty though. <laughs> okay okay no no let me let me pass this on let me pass this on um so yeah i'm gonna get rid of eight old blushes oh so sad i really wish they didn't like redo this blush line because these new ones definitely they're just not as good they're not as good Okay, well, that looks a lot neater, so that's good. Oh, I have these that um, my friend that works at Chanel sent these over. I think these are the new ones, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is a new color, so I should hold on to that. Fosha Rosa. I'm going to get rid of these because I think these are actually old. This one is a new one. Okay, what do I have on the side here? Okay, I've got this YSL Nude 
blouse, I think is the name. I'm gonna hold on to that. I have the Suku, love this. I'm gonna hold on to that. I'll put this over here. Oh, I've got this Bobbi Brown Brightening Brick and Coral. I've never used that, that's so pretty. Definitely gonna hold on to that. I've got this Blush Duo from Clay de Poe. Definitely gonna hold on to that. Um, okay, got some Valentino here. I love that. This I was hoping to use as an eyeshadow. I haven't really, so I'm gonna pass that along, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to this. That is so pretty. And then Tom Ford. So I've got all of these um, cheek duo, sheer cheek duos, which have been discontinued. I think I need to just say goodbye to these. This one is my favorite. This one is Paradise Lust. I oh, know this watch is fine. Okay, maybe I'll hold on to that. This one is super duper old. This is like the first one, yeah, by Coastal. I'm, I'm gonna pass that one along. This one is Lisome. This is like the second to newest one, Exotic Flora. I'm gonna pass this along. I'm gonna pass this along too. This actually reminds me of the latest one that came out, the Eclat New, that has the kind of nude shade on top but it's lighter than this. Anyway, I'm gonna pass this along. I'm gonna keep Paradise Lust just because I love it so much. Um, the Wayne Goss blush duos, I'm going to keep. I love all of these so, so much. So I'm just gonna keep all of these. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury blushes. These are all the nipple blushes that I really enjoy. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll pass this one along. Which one is this one? Walk of No Shame. It's a little bit deep for me. I like a deep blush, but yeah, I think I'm gonna pass that one along. This one I feel like fills that void. This is the Pillow Talk for like kind of like a deep nude-esque type of blush. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. And then this one is First Love, which I'm gonna hold on to. And then, let's see, we've got these Melt blushes. These are so pretty. I'm gonna hold on to these. These are really special to me. Uh, my Jill Stewart blushes, which I love. And then I've got this Burberry blush that, you know, I used this in a video. It was kind of like on the chopping block. And I remember it being really, really peachy, even though it looked nude in the pan. And when I used it, it actually ended up being kind of nude. So I kept it. But I think this is uh, not in production anymore. Let me look. Earthy blush numbers. Oh, this is still available. Okay, I'll hold on to it then. All right, I'm actually gonna rearrange this. And I've got these M Cosmetics ones I'm gonna keep. These are really pretty. All right, so scooting on over here. These are all the Pat McGrath blushes. I think I'm just gonna keep them all. I have all the Hermes blushes. I think I'm gonna keep them all. I like the Pat McGrath more than I like the Hermes. If I'm gonna get rid of any, it would be the Hermes, but I I have them all and I feel like it, it's good stuff to have. I have all the Sicily blushes. I love all of these, all of my Dior blushes. Um, you know what, I think there's some limited edition ones in here that I can get rid of. Let's go through those. That one I'm keeping, this one is not limited edition. This one is the 219 that I love. This one is the 9.99. That's really lovely. Um, oh, here's a limited edition one. Here is a limited edition one. Here is a limited edition one. <laughs> limited edition and limited edition. Where's my Charnel? It's probably actually on my vanity. Okay, so I think I'm going to pass this one along, this is from like Dior Summer Games. This is old, this is probably two years old. So long, long, limited edition. Um, these are the Birds of a Feather blushes. I just love that collection so much. I think I'm gonna hold on to those and I'm going to pass these two along. Uh, my Sisley Orchid blush I'm gonna hold on to. Uh, my M Cosmetics blushes, I really like these blushes so I'm gonna hold on to those. I'm gonna move these over here actually more sense. 
I love this from Tom Ford, but I don't think this is being made either. Incandescent. Let me look. Oh, actually, this is still for sale places. Okay, I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, the Patrick Ta blush palette. This I actually need to whip out because I got this in the fall winter time. And I remember thinking, this is definitely for spring summer. So I need to remember to use this now that it is spring summer. And then, oh, I love these Nabla blushes, but I never use them. So I'm going to declutter these. Okay, and now this is my bronzer tray. I think I have to get real serious here because you can see it's like overflowing. Um, all right, my Tom Ford beloved bronzers. I love these. So I'm not gonna get rid of these. I'm not going to get rid of my Chantecaille uh, Real Bronze bronzers. I love those. Um, this Laura Mercier, I never use. I'm gonna pass that along. Um, okay, Guerlain, I have a lot of these. So let's see which ones I should hold on to and which ones I should declutter. So I'm going to actually pass this one along. This is the bronzing powder in light warm. It is uh, actually kind of a strange tone. It's kind of, um, it's yellowy. So it didn't look that great on my skin tone. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pass that along. Um, this one is one of the newer ones. This one is the bronzing powder in medium warm. Why do I have this in medium warm? Maybe I'll pass this one along too. I think this was the only one they had in stock and I wanted to try it. Is that what happened? Yeah, this is one of the newer ones too. Oh, and it's limited edition. All right, let me just pass this one along. And then I'm gonna hold on to these. This one is light cool, which maybe you can see, but it's kind of, it's like more peachy than like yellow orange. This one is light warm, but this one works for me. I really like this one. So I'm gonna hold on to those two. And then I have, is it this one? The newest one, which I really love. Um, this one actually is light warm, which is too warm for me. I do have light cool, it's probably on my vanity. Um, so I'm gonna declutter this one. Um, the Clay de Poe, I really like this one. The tone is so pretty. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, this one is San Juan from NARS. Uh, it's okay. I think I'm going to declutter it. I never really use it, even though it's it's fine. I just have too many. Um, this Dior. Oh, this is like a beautiful contour shade. Look at that. This is so cool. This is limited edition, too. Um, this is old. Oh, I can't get rid of it, though. It's like such a good tone. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that. And then we have Vapor. I really love. This is a gorgeous bronzer. It has a little bit of a sheen. I'll hold on to that. This by Terry is a gorgeous powder, but it's like neither here nor there for me. I feel like this bronze is too light. And then this highlight is very subtle. It's very pretty, but I never, I never think to use it. So I'm going to pass this along. Let's see. I've got the Kevin O'Conn contour powder I'm going to hold on to. Uh, the Kogan Doe highlight contour. I'm going to hold on to that. Great for travel. Kosis, I love, 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 oh God. I broke this top. Um, I love this bronzer though, one of my all time favorites. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I also have it in the medium, so I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna hold on to the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers. Those work well for me. Put some of these back. This Nabla, just like the blushes, it's nice, but I never use it, so I will declutter that. This Tom Ford, I love. I'm gonna hold on to that. Victoria Beckham, do I need both? Let's see. This one is number two, and this one is number one. Hmm. This one's cooler, this one's a little warmer. I do like these. Okay, I'll hold on to both. <laughs> My Sisley bronzers, I'm definitely gonna hold on to. They're very different. This one is uh, their number four powder, which I can use as bronzer. And then this one is their actual bronzer and it's baked gelée. This is probably the product that got me gaga over baked gelée products. Um, Gucci, I feel like one 
Yeah, the darker one actually works better for me because it's a little bit cooler. This one is a little bit um, too warm, so I'm going to pass that one along. So three is a little bit warmer, and I, I think not as deep as number two. So yeah, number two is cooler and works better for me, so I'm going to hold on to that one. Um, the Clinique uh, Solar Pop I'm going to hold on to. I really love that one. All of my Bobbi Brown bronzers I really love. Let me see if there's one that's maybe too deep. Stone Street is so good. It's like perfectly neutral on my skin tone. Antigua is the pinky one. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to all of these. <laughs> the Le Bouche Rouge bronzer I'm going to hold on to. The Valentino bronzer I'm going to hold on to. Look at, look at how creamy that looks. And it is that creamy on the skin. It's so good. I'm going to hold on to that. And that's it for this bronzer drawer. I do have some sitting on my vanity, so they'll probably fill this up. But this looks so much better. And I'm getting rid of six... So the top drawer to this drawer unit here, I threw in a bunch of limited edition products or products that were discontinued that I still really, really love. I do not have the heart <laughs> to go through and declutter these because some of these are so amazing. Look at this by Terry. Looks so, so amazing, this Rodin. All of these like Guerlain um, bronzers, the terracotta bronzers. Oh, all the Chantecai limited edition stuff. Oh my god. Yeah, I just, I don't have the heart. The Victoria Beckham, Estee Lauder, I don't have the heart to go through this right now. So these are all staying. <laughs> and then I have some, like, backup uh, kind of, you know, foundation. I think mainly this is foundation. I think because these aren't opened, and used, I'm just gonna go ahead and donate them. So the Lisa Eldridge number seven works beautifully for me. So I'm gonna get rid of um, 12 for sure. Number 10 for sure, donate those. And then maybe I'll hold on to nine just in case I get a little bit you know, deeper. Um, the Forever Skin Glow in 2N, is this the new one? This is the old one, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and donate that. I'm going to donate this NARS um, Deauville. I'm going to donate the Cali Ray number four. Yeah, this was too deep for me. Um, the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. They sent these over. I actually don't know what shade I am. Okay, I'll, I have to go through those. Um, and then these are some just kind of foundations that are just... And, and primers that are just like hangover from my foundation drawer because that one is just bursting. Here are my primers. So definitely keeping my Vitamin Rich Face Base from Bobbi Brown. Uh, definitely keeping uh, the Victoria Beckham in Golden. I'll probably be finishing that one up pretty quickly. Um, definitely keeping the Loon and Aster. This was a gift from a friend and I do like it. Um, definitely gonna hold on to this too. I got this, I feel like relatively recently. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna hold on to this one. You guys know how much I love the glow. Um, the Photo Finish Primerizer. I think this is a nice primer. I just don't feel like I'm gonna reach for this as much as these other ones. So I'm going to declutter that. Um, got my Auric Glow Lust, the Cure Weiss Beautiful Primer, which I haven't even <laughs> tried yet. So. That needs to come out to play. Um, long lasting hydrating veil, correcting cream veil. I think I liked this one more than this one, but I'm gonna play around with these a little bit more. Um, this one I liked. This X I'm gonna declutter. I never use this one. The La Mer I'm going to keep. I like that one. Um, this is SPF 32. I think this is probably too old at this point. An old, old SPF is kind of worthless, so I'm gonna declutter that, get rid of that one. Um, Wonder Glow, oh, I forgot about this tinted glow booster, I love this, and the Wonder Glow. Um, this Dr. Dennis Gross, I really, really love, but I do think this is too old now. Oh no, expires 2023, wait, does this have an expiration date? 
Let's see. I think this says like 520.22. Anyway, that would make it pretty much expired. Um, let's see. I've got the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. This I think is better for oilier skin, so I'm going to pass that one along. Um, I've got my Yibu Beauty Mooncast. I love that. And the Sisley Double Tensor. This is really, really great if you want makeup to last a long time. This is definitely not one I would use all the time because, again, I think for everyday use, if you have oilier skin or normal skin, this is better, but I have dry skin. But I'm going to hold on to this because this really, really helps your makeup last a long time. Um, oh, and I've got this Sisley powder, which is great underneath foundation, so I keep it in my primer drawer. Okay. That's primer, so I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four primers. And then here's one of many foundation drawers. Um, okay, so, oh boy. Oh, I like so many of these. All right, the Lisa Eldridge number seven. This is the box. I think the foundation is sitting on my vanity. Uh, I'm definitely keeping this. Definitely keeping my Chantecai. Um, oh boy, really, I like everything in this drawer. This is tough. The Tower 28 is really nice. In there. The tinted Moisturizer Oil. For, you know what, I'm going to pass this one along because I think this shade is a little bit deep for me. And I like this one better, this Light Revealer. Um, is better, and this shade works better. So 1W1 works better on my skin tone than the 2N1. So I'm going to pass this one along. Um, let's see. Sisley, Clay de Poe, keeping all of these. Um, Shiseido I love. By Terry, I really enjoy. Clay de Poe, I really enjoy. O30. And O20. I remember the O30 working better because it had a better undertone for me. But I'm going to hold on to both just in case. Yeah. Um, this LYS foundation is really great. Oy, this is not easy. Um, the Say is really great. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this Smashbox Halo. That one is not, is not great. The Cali Ray is okay, but it kind of had that dry oil feeling, which I do not like. So I'm going to pass that one along. This Orsay I'm going to pass along. This is a nice, really nice uh, foundation, but it has like a medium kind of fuller coverage, and I just, I never reach for that, so I'm going to pass that along. Um, here is Dior One End. That's my shade now. Oh, Tower 28. Let me see. One is Melrose, and... I'm going to keep Melrose and pass this one along. I actually can't even read that. Oh, Mulholland. This one's a little bit deeper, but... Melrose work for me, so I'm going to pass that one along. Um, the Bobbi Brown Tinted Moisturizer is really nice. All of these um, Trinis are really nice. The BFF Rebalance, the BFF Cream. I both loved both of these. Um, yeah, this is a tough drawer. Okay, and then back here, I've got concealers and eye primers. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I think some of these are just kind of bold at this point. Okay, I'm going to pass these along. Really love a lot of these, but they're just they're kind of old. I don't use eye primer. This one's old. This is the older iteration of the Clay de Peau concealer. This one has really high coverage, which I just don't use that often. Yeah, so I'm gonna pass these along, get rid of these. Okay, next drawer is cushion and cream foundations. I gotta get serious here. I love all of these Tom Ford cushion foundations. Are they still good? Yeah, they're still, they're still okay. Um, the Dior foundations I know are still good. Okay. Sicily is new. Chantecaille is relatively new. The M. I wonder... Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting here, like, debating about the Tom Ford. 
But if I do, I wouldn't get rid of the cases because they're refillable. So they're just going to sit here anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to leave all of those. Um, and then for cream foundations, sometimes I really enjoy the way they look on my skin, absolutely, but I don't always love using them. I'm just not a big fan of like, kind of like digging my finger into a jar. Let me move this actually. So this is what we've got here. Okay. So the Kevin Aquan, I think is a pretty cool product, but it is definitely, I think it's just for makeup artists. It has very, very high coverage. It's great to like mix into things. I am not that person. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter those. Um, I'm also going to, as much as it pains me, I think I'm gonna declutter these two. These two foundations, I love them, but they're old. They're like, I think, four years old? Four years old at this point, so I'm gonna declutter that. Oh, this foundation is so good. I got pretty far down in this one. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just time. <laughs> it's time. Um, the Wayne Goss, I'm gonna hold on to these. These are new. I really love the way they look. Am I gonna use it? Probably not that often. Um, the Suku, the cream foundation, this one was okay. This one was okay. I know some people love this foundation. It actually left me um, more radiant than I like, which I don't say often since I have dry skin, but yeah, I have to play around with this more. The Shantikai uh, Future Skin one, I love. And then this powder foundation is incredible. Incredible, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And this is just a random Guerlain case. So, do I have anything back there? That's it. So that is all I'm keeping in terms of cream, jar, powder foundations. Uh, I guess I'm keeping all of my cushion foundations because they're refillable. So essentially I'm just keeping the cases and getting rid of Chanel, Clay de Peau, and Kevin Aquan. Okay, here's my main foundation drawer. I feel like I just went through this, but I see some that are, that again, are just, they're just freaking old. <laughs> They're freaking old and I need to just get rid of them. Um, like this girl on stick foundation. I really like the stick foundation. It's, it's just old. So I'm gonna toss that. Um, this Chanel CC cream I really love, but it's old and has SPF in there. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, love those. The Chanel ones are all you know, relatively new or are usable. Light Wonder. Let's see. This shade in Illuminate, this is such a good foundation, but this is old too. Yeah, I'm gonna pass that along. That kind of pains me, but it needs to go. Um, this is on the older side, but not quite as old as those other ones, and I really do like that. Uh, this is not as old as the other ones. Neither is this one. Yeah, this one, this is probably like the third bottle of La Mer <laughs> foundation I have. These other ones are relatively on the newer side. 010, 020. I think I'm just gonna hold on to 010 and pass along 020. And let's see if there's anything I can put down here. This Sisley. Is that too tall? And. Or maybe, actually, let me put down these clay to poe ones. I'll move this one over. And I'll put these here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I'm so sad about those Dior foundations still. Yeah, the new ones didn't work out for me. I think that's all I can deal with right now. <laughs> my back is hurting. It's a lot of hard decisions now. I, I think I'm just, I'm just getting tired. So we'll take a break. Um, I'm gonna see how much footage I have. And if it's not super long, I'll just kind of continue either later today or tomorrow um, with this declutter. 
If not, it'll be in the next vlog. But yeah, I'm gonna stop here for now.